Sergio Ramos had, the, had this quote saying, we want everything with coaches that you already know. In the end, the management of the players is more important than the technical knowledge of a coach. Guys, if you've got eight Ballon d'Or nominees, then what he's saying there is spot on. Mm. Because you've got the quality on the field. You have the, the technique, you have the ability, you've got the pedigree, you've got the experience. Real Madrid have got all of these things. Mm. So they need a guy that can control all of these players. Mm. So, for once, I'm with Ramos. <laughs> with, with Ramos. That, that hasn't happened too often. But, yep. but, but, but should players, I know Gab wants him, but should players be having any sort of impact in this process? Well, you shouldn't really, but you've got to factor in if you're, player, if you're an owner or, or, a, or a sporting director or whatever, in this case it's Florentino Perez, that if a manager comes in and the players are, are unhappy, then the, the chances of things picking up are, are even are, are right. pretty dim. Uh, I think what will happen here is they'll probably look and see how it goes for a for a for a short while under under Santi, and then make and then behind the scenes, I'm sure they'll still be talking. Mm. Uh, well, I'm absolutely sure they'll still be talking to other people. One of the other things with Conte is as well is that I don't know if he'll be allowed to on this occasion or what the discussions would be, but he brings a big entourage with him. Mm. You know, talking to one or two people at Chelsea when he was there. He brought a big staff in with him, so I, I don't know how far Real Madrid would want to go down the line with something like that. But good, good for Santi Solari. And yeah. listen, the players, there's not one Real Madrid player could come out, I'm sure, and say, "Well, I don't, I don't really like the manager." So that's what it is, because he's pretty much universally liked by. I mean, he works here at ESPN yeah. on major tournaments. A nice guy, and I think he's well respected with all the players. So over to you, mm. Real Madrid players, can you perform for this guy? Yeah. Gab, just briefly. My problem with what Sergio Ramos said is that, uh, you know, he was fine working with all these players with the national side when they were, when they were dominating in the run-up to the World Cup. He was fine working with, with Asensio and Isco and Danny Carvajal and, and, and Sergio Ramos himself. There was no problem with his man management skills there to the point that Sergio Ramos himself orchestrated his move from the national team to Real Madrid, perhaps even scuppering Spain's chance to win a World Cup at that point. So to turn around now and basically question this guy's abilities, and he may have a point. He's not the most charismatic guy, but goodness me, that, that is quite a turnaround, dumping it, dumping it on him when, when not that long ago you thought he was the bee's knees and a system coach and all this other stuff. Mm. Correct. No, he is correct. I mean, he's been an absolute hypocrite in all of this, yeah. but let's be honest, it's unsurprising. Yeah. He's, he's backed him one minute, and then a few days later he's thrown him under the bus.